Hey everyone, Ruby in here, and today I'm going to be refilming a video. I took some quizzes online, I actually filmed them. Of course, my computer decided not to work, but halfway through the second one, and it started working again, but then I accidentally clicked start over instead of upload, so I'm going to be wearing this hat as well, because let me tell you, my hair is just not hair today. Where's the bow? Oh, it's right there. It's too far. I don't want to look like I can't get finished. So let's do it like that. I'm sorry, was that rude? Okay. So the first uh, quiz that I took was which uh, Hogwarts house are you? I got Hufflepuff. I was kind of hoping that I would get Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff because I just like that. I like the name. Uh, the second one I took was... I can't remember the second one. I can't remember the answer I got, but it was... Which... D and D character, are you I'm pretty sure. The third one I took was which or how evil are you? And I got 34.5 percent evil. It basically sums it up as I'm a little bit evil, except I'm not quite evil enough, and I'm scared that my evil streak will go away. I'm not scared that my evil streak will go away, but I do feel like I could be a little bit more evil. Um, and then the last one I took was which nest character are you? And I got Billy Lee. And I can read you what it says, because it's still my thing. You obviously have a desire to cause pain to the people who wrong you. You are usually calm and composed, but if something rubs you the wrong way, it had better run. You care about your loved ones and will protect them from any cost, or at any cost. If someone were to hurt someone you love or care about, they will taste your vengeance. Physical fitness is something you take pride in. Not really. And you do what you can to stay in shape. You have a natural sense of justice which you will often enforce. You rarely back down from a fight and then only to get an advantage. So I like that one. I took two quizzes on the last one, but I'm going to see if I can take maybe three in this one. Let's take a look at our Nest Trivia Level 1. I didn't play Nest a lot. I'm not quite old enough to, but by meaning I am... Not quite old enough. Who are the two heroes that are going to fight Bowser? Pesto and Lig Liguanini. Sorry, I didn't say it that way. Mario and Luigi. Mindstrong and Cappuccino. Toad and Peach. And Vito and Antonio. I'm pretty sure it's Mario and Luigi. Link is trying to self save Zelda, who kidnapped her. Oh my god, I don't remember. <sighs> Ganondorf, Zelda is like my favorite ever. Whizbro, the type, the train voice, came, bro, came, came, blah. words, I have none. Whizbro, the Triforce, came, came of, or Link. It definitely wasn't Link. I don't think, I don't remember the twist. Wasn't there a twist on that one? Let's go with Ganondorf. I know some of you out there are probably like, Who can jump the highest in Super Mario Brothers 2? I didn't play Super Mario Brothers 2. I didn't like that one. Princess. Princess who? Where did that mini fly come from? Let's just stay over there if you want that way. Uh, Princess, Toad, Mario, Vito, Luigi. I'm gonna go with Toad because I'm pretty sure if he. No. I'm gonna go with Mario. What is Mega Man's first suit colors? Oh, I don't remember. I'm not going to Google it. Mega Man. The blue and silver. Concept and design is one.
Um, let's go with light and dark blue. I'm pretty sure that's it. Which person is an opposing boxer in punch out? King Hippo, Bald Fred, Little Mac, King Koopa, Bald Bruiser. I didn't play Punch Out. Oh, I don't I only know who a couple of these people are. I'm gonna go with Bald Bruiser. I didn't who is the hero's name in Castlevania? I don't know what that is either. Oh, wait. I think I do know what this is. Simon Belmont. No, I didn't actually know who this was. In Final Fantasy, what is the new, what is usually the first anime you encounter? Similar Centaur's Chaos and its Giants. Oh, I didn't actually play Final Fantasy either. Ah, oh, maybe I'm not a. Ah, oh, maybe I thought I knew it, knew Ness and didn't. Let's go with Centaur's. Centaur's. And Red Racer, what type of car seen on the first track? Didn't play that. Let's go with Corvette Stingray. What are the names from the two bosses for meteoroids? I have no idea. Ugh. I'm sorry if that's super loud. Oh, I didn't spell it right. God, apparently I don't know how to use the space bar. No, meteoroid. Hmm, let's go with the real and waver because I like that. What are the heroes? And Go with Billy and Joel. <laughs> oh, I feel like I wasn't ready to pick this place. I don't. I didn't play Ness a lot because I was I'm not old enough for one. I'm only sixteen. I was born in '98, so it's. I'm gonna. I'm sad to say this, but. You got 40% of the questions correct. Your rank is Koopa Trooper. You are nothing special, and I mean that literally. You might, you may have played Nintendo at a friend's house, but you obviously missed out on the craze. Shame on you. Now I'm going to go cry. Thank you, whoever made this. Oh. Let's see how. Nine minutes. Okay, let's play. Right, let's do some more. Um, let's take the geek purity test. Take all the boxes which your answer is yes, then submit. First, social question. Have you ever avoided going to a dance or party so you could be online? Yes. You stay at home whole weekend only talking to the person 
to the use of telecommunications, aka modem. Yeah. Would you rather use your computer than hang out with girl boyfriend? No, I would rather hang out with my girlfriend or boyfriend. Have you ever preferred to type a message to someone than talk to them in fear of sounding like a total moron? Yes. Do you not have a girlfriend or boyfriend? Yes. Have you ever given up sex to use your computer? Uh, I've never had the chance, nor I probably would though, so yes. Have you ever yelled at someone to leave you alone and not talk to you so you can use your computer? Yes. Do you relate better to computer than people? Yes. Can you write GUI but not the letter to your girlfriend or boyfriend? I don't know what either of those means to so know. Do you know more about computers than the human body? Probably. Do you think Eliza had a great personality? I don't know. Was Dr. S so whoever a great therapist, I don't know who these people are. Do you wish there was a computer interface between you and the rest of the world? Sometimes. Have you ever had cyber sex? No. Do you like your computer more than life itself? No. Do you treat your com computer better than your significant other? I don't have one, but I probably would. Do you spend more money on, the, on your computer than your significant other? No, but I do spend a I've never spent money on my computer. Would you rate, rewrite the rules of dating to include classes and inheritance? No. Is your plan larger than life? Larger than your list of boyfriends? Yes. Do you talk to your computer more than your significant other? Don't have one, but I do talk to my computer. I'm doing it right now. Would you rather live with other geeks than live at home? Parents' house? Probably. So I could in, embrace my geekiness. Do you know more computer languages than verbal languages? No, I don't. I know two languages, but I don't do enough with my computer to know that. Can you recite more programming commands than the, wor the words in English? It's not that I pronounce words in English, it's just that I can't enunciate them. Do you have more modems than people's phone numbers, not counting computers? Yes. Does Doom get you more excited than your girlfriend, boyfriend? Yes, because I don't have one. Do you stay up longer to finish a program than have sex? Don't have sex, so I guess yes. Second, com second questions. Count our second uh, question set. <laughs> Counting questions. Computing questions. Words. What are they? Do you own an XC or higher? No. Do you own a modem? Yes. Do you own more than one modem? Uh, yes. More than five. I'll go with five. You have one or more computers? Yes. I have less than five, so. Do you reprogram your keyboard to your own custom layout? No. Do you have logo stickers on your computer not counting in? Um, no. I, I, I don't have logo stickers, but I have stickers. Is your monitor bigger than your TV? Unfortunately not. Is your hard disk bigger than your bank account? Probably. Do you have more mice in a laboratory? More mice in a laboratory? Oh, yes. Is your computer bigger than a suitcase? No. Is it due to your c customizing it? What? It is. Oh, no. Yes. The last one. Is it a power? Is the power supply to your computer outside of the case because it wouldn't fit inside? Wrong one, but it works. Um, no. Is your keyboard so dirty people have to compliment how cool the charcoal gray looks with black, with your black power case? I'm using a laptop, y'all. No, but my computer is pretty dirty. Is your computer's case size comparative to your manhood? No, I'm not a man. Is your monitor so dirty that there are plants growing inside the dust? No, there's no plan. I know one programming language. Have you ever made up your own programming language to get the robust function set that you couldn't find anywhere else? Do you know at least 10? Yes. Online users in real life? I think I know all of them, so. Oh, wait. Do you have the most expensive disk controller you can find? No. Do you have a 286? What do I have? I have no idea. You have, I'm going to skip all those. Do you not have a 68,000 based architecture computer? I don't think so. Do you run a full time internet machine? Yes. 
Is your personal internet connection 28.8 .8 or less? I don't know. Do you have a house network? Yes. Does it contain two or more computers? Yes. Last personal habit. Is your desk a mess? Do you have empty soda, soda cans around you? No, I have empty water bottles just about everywhere, though. Do you stay up to the wee hours of the morning? Is your room messier before an earthquake? Do you shower less than once a week? That's gross. I shower every other day because I wash off and I don't care what you think. Do you change your underwear less than once a week? I change my underwear every day. Do you comb your hair? Sometimes. Do you change your sheets less than once a month? Less than twice. Because I don't have a sheet on my bed in the current moment. Have you worn one pair of clothes a week? No. Have you worn one pair of clothes all week, all month, all year, all week, I guess I should say. Have you put on deodorant less than once in the past month? Less than twice? Less than every week? Less than every day? No, I put on deodorant like every five minutes. Do you eat your boogers? No. Do you hawk loogies? Only when I'm sick. Do you blow snot rockets? Only when I'm sick. Do you adjust yourself in public? I do actually. Not. So as they're putting it though, I'm pretty sure this was designed for men. Do you try to fart really loud? No, let me. This the way this is worded. Do you try to make farts really loud? No. Ever a little fart in a tin? <laughs> No, but my uncle did. Did it work? <laughs> yes. Do you piss all over the toilet seat in public places? No. At home, no. Do you not flush the toilet when you use it? I flush the toilet every five minutes. Does your sink have crusty plates and dishes in it? No. Is there older than a week? Do you leave the floss in the sink when you're done? I don't floss. Do you wipe your boogers on your clothes? No. Do you want to get married? Yes. Do you make rude and disgusting noises in bed for your own enjoyment? Sometimes. Do you recite programming list program listings in your sleep? No. Do you read literature while on the throne? Yes. Have you ever figured out the solution to programming problem while in the shower? Yes and yes. Do you know the ACI I code by heart? No. Can you prefer convert more than three bases in your head? No. Submit your test for purification calculations. You answered 42 of the 149 questions, making you 67.4% geek pure. That is, you are 67.4% pure in the geek do domain. You have 32.6% geek in you. Your weirdness factor, aka a uniqueness factor, is 20% based on the comparison of your test results with... Jesus, that is a big number. I'm going to... Make it one one thousand ninety one one hundred ninety one thousand six hundred and fourteen other submissions for this test. The average per purity for this test is eighty percent point eighty one eighty point one percent words. I do, I don't have any. The first submission of this test was received December thirtieth, nineteen ninety five. Thank you for all that. Let's go back. Let me try. 19 minutes. Just do one more. Mm, I'm gonna. Ugh. Mm, ugh. Oh, I haven't put on traffic in a while. And it's super hot in here, so I'm gonna turn on my fan. I'm sorry. Ugh. But. Ah. That was gross. I'm sorry. They're gonna make a noise. No. Well, it probably is, but. Oh. Uh, Let's take the nerd test because, um, oh, it's just like the other one, okay. Have you ever used a computer if the answer is no, try taking the Baker House purity test. I'm using a computer right now. Have you ever programmed a computer? Yes. Have you ever built a computer? No. Continuously? No. Program? No.
for those non MIT students out there, this translates as do you did you major in electrical engineering or computer science? No. Do you wear glasses? Yes. Are your glasses broken and example taped? I don't know actually. But they are sitting right here on the floor, so maybe. No, they're not broken. They have whatever I spoke last on them though. Is your vision worse than 2040? I don't know. Is your vision worse than 2080? Are you legally blind? No. Have you ever asked a question in lecture? I don't know what that means. Have you an I oh wait, no, I do know what I've done both of these. Have you ever corrected a professor? Yes. Have you ever answered a rhetorical question? Yes. Do you sit in the front row? No, I'm way too shy for that. Do you take notes in more than one color? Yes. Have you ever worn a calculator? No, but I probably would. Do you read science fiction? Uh, yes. Have you ever used a microscope? Yes. Have you ever, yes. Used a telescope? And yes. Have you ever used an oscilloscope? Is your weight less than your IQ? I wish. Have you ever programmed a computer on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of the same weekend? No. Have you ever programmed a computer past 4 a.m.? No. Have you ever programmed a computer with someone of the appropriate either both, either or both of your choice sex besides your consultant? I have no idea what that means. Have you ever programmed a computer for money? No. Do you have a Rubik's Cube? Yes. Can you solve it? Yes. Without the book? Yes. Oh. Yes. Without looking? No. Do you have acne? Yes. Do you have greasy hair? I need to have greasy hair, so. Are you unaware of it? Probably <laughs> no. Have you ever bought anything from Radio Shack? Yes. From he Kit? I don't know. You know trigonomy? No. No. Have you ever dissected anything? No, because I refuse to. Do you know pi? Okay. Four, three point one four one five seven. I'm, yes, I do. Uh, past five decimal points. Do you, do you know, no. Do you own more than $500 in electronics, excluding stereo? This is about $600 in itself, so, uh, a hundred, a hundred, um, seventy, or a hundred and fifty. My stereo was like a hundred dollars too, so yes, I own about $2,000. Uh, more than a thousand, yes. Have you ever built? No. Do you have you ever watched Doctor Who? No. More than three times in the same night? No. Have you ever read the Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I've read part of it. What is your SAT math score? I haven't taken the SATs yet. Have you ever done home? Oh, excuse me. Homework on a Friday night? Yes. Have you ever pulled an all-nighter? Yes. Have you ever redesigned a major household appliance? No, but I've tried. Have you ever played a computer game? Yes. Have you played? Yes. Have you played? Yes. Have you ever written a computer game? No. Are your pants too short? Nope, they're always too long. Do your socks mismatch? Yes. Have you ever used a chemistry chemistry set? Yes. After the age of 13? Yes. Have you ever played D&D? &D? Yes. Since high school. I'm still in high school, so I guess I'll put yes. Have you ever attended entered the science fair? Yes. Did you win? Unfortunately not. Do you own a digital watch? Yes. Does it play music? No, but I wish. Does it have a calculator? No, that I wish. Have you ever used a rare earth element? Yes. Do you own a CRC? No. Probably. I don't know what those mean. Do you own a laser? No. Were you ever on a chess team? No, I wish. A debate team? No. Do you know more than three programming languages? No. More than eight? No. Have you ever made a technical joke? Yes, and I got weird looks. Did no one get it? Yes. Can you name more than 10 Star Trek episodes? No, I'm not that bad. Are you socially in inept? I don't know what inept means. Let me look it up real quick because I think I might be. Having or showing no scale clumsy. Yes, I'm very inept. Then. Um, do you own a pencil case? I have about 50. Do you wear it sometimes? Do you know Schroeder's equations? I learned them, but I don't remember them. Have you ever solved it? No. Oh, wait, no. Have you ever used the word S? I don't know what that means, but I'll look it up. Just I probably have, just not knowing it. 
Uh, yes. Can you count in binary? No. Have you ever broken into a computer system? No. A government system? Absolutely not. Have you ever changed changed your bank account? I think. Changed someone else's? No. Changed someone else's bank account for money? Never. Uh, have you ever inhaled helium? Yes. Do you know the Latin name for the fruit fly? Probably. Do you own anything that is radio controlled? No. Have you ever interploited? No. Have you ever extraploited? No. Have you ever used a modem? Yes. Have you ever reached a sexual climax while programming a computer? No. You are an you answered yes to 44 of 100 questions, making you 56% nerd pure. That is, you are 56% pure in the nerd domain. You have 44% nerd in you. Your weirdness factor, aka uniqueness factor, is 26% based on a comparison of your test results with 576,688 other submissions. You have an av your average pur purity for this test is 73.8%. First submission for this test was received June 16, 1994. That's cool. Okay. So I've been recording for almost half an hour, and you guys are gonna have to sit through all that. <laughs> If you like this video, make sure you like this video. Leave a nice comment down below or anyone don't really care. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!